But guys, it was such a fail, so I'm just end up putting it up in one. Like I was getting stressed out. It wasn't coming out how I wanted it to come out. It wasn't looking no type of cute. And I was just trying to make it work. I was telling myself, see the end process, see the vision, like follow through. But it wasn't giving what it was supposed to give. So I'm just put it up in a one and tie it down. So I'm on the road with Chad and Kai. Um, but I do want to head to the supermarket. So yeah. We're outside of the supermarket right now and um, I'm only here for like four five days so we're not trying to pick up a lot of stuff and I'll be gone for about a week two weeks so Let's go see what we can get for under ten thousand dollars. Everything will be priced in the video, and if I come across anything that I don't get, I'll also share the prices just so you can see the differences from Jamaica to wherever you are. I think I want to get um. Lettuce and let's see. Um, wow, carrot has gotten pricey. I don't want so much though. Hmm? Pricey, pricey, it's pricey. Because I don't want that much. Anyways, I have to go. Okay. This old lady just, I said it was pricey and she was like, this is pricey. So maybe it's not pricey, but to me it is. <laughs> 26 year old, living alone. Wanting to spend less than $10,000. 600 something for some carrots is pricey. Um, but I didn't really make a good list of what I need. But this is everything. All right, I do want to get um, some orange juice. So I'm gonna get this and I don't see any cranberry juice, but I like cranberry juice from this company, um, Pure Country. And I think it's $655. So we'll just put that in the car. But like I said, normally I get some cranberry juice as well. They have sorrel. Should we get a sorrel drink, guys? Make we just get a sorrel drink, just for the sake of the, you know, the season, the Christmas season, holiday season. Um, Chad Walker left me. I do want to get a milk. So let's see what they have. You okay, Chad? I don't see their milk. Should I get cheese? <laughs> Guys, I was gonna make a list. I don't know why I didn't make a list. This is a recipe for disaster. Do not do what I'm doing. Make a list, which I definitely was going to make, but I completely forgot. Now cheese, the single cheese, $934, $700, $22,000. Let's get this. 256. I think I'm gonna get two of these because I want Dolka macaroni. Yeah, these are 256, 239. Um, let's see, mozzarella. 
Which other cheese? Should we just get three? Okay. I want the homemade macaroni. So we'll just do three of these. And then the milk. And then that's all I'm getting for dairy. We already have eggs. But eggs at the supermarket will run you. If you get these, $232. Um, if you get a full tray, it's more. But I'm not seeing prices. And that's one thing I do not like with Jamaican supermarkets. Um, half a dozen is two thirty-two. I'm gonna get um, some bag juice because this can stay in the fridge. This can stay in the fridge when I'm gone. Let's lay these down. Let's lay these down here. I've been thinking about this video for so long and look at me come unorganized. But yeah, butter. We only need the small butter. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna get this Flora brand for $617. Um, Put that in here as well. Let's see if I need. Oh, I do need rice. <laughs> Perfect aisle. But I want to get one of the little bag them. Which rice do you guys like? This jas jasmine rice is six hundred and thirty-three dollars. Yeah, I'm just looking. Or do you like brown rice? This brown basmati rice can run you up to 613. So it's not far from the regular jasmine rice. So let's just get one of these like a local. Well, I can't say local. I don't really know where these rice are from. Rice in bulk, $178. Oh, but I don't like these. These have so much of the white stuff in them. Yeah, I'm gonna know. Where am I get this rice from? I think I'm gonna like just pay the little extra rice. Let's see. Long green. Or should I just get the jasmine? Fragrant scented? What does that mean? Let's get this one. Yeah, let's try this. $541. Alisi Alicia Jasmine Rice. Nice. You want me to pick up any sardine, any tuna? Hmm? Yeah. I told them since I'm leaving in like four days and I'm really makes sense to go all overboard now. But these things can sit. So like it won't go to waste. So how about we just get two of these? Yeah, because yeah, I don't know. Might be interesting for try with the egg. So we're gonna get some sardines. How much is this? $214 for one. Everybody needs seasoning. Oh yeah. Chad just reminded me I need some seasoning. Um and since it's the perfect season for it, I really would love to get some Milo. I'm just gonna get the smallest one, which is a $275. I'm just gonna get this. And let's get some peppermint tea. This one is $202. Alright guys, be right back. Alright, so we're in, we're gonna get some eggs. <laughs> but I'm just gonna get um I'm gonna get these. I don't know how much these are because I think the two thousand the two hundred and thirty two dollars is for the up price. But I wanna get these greedy eggs. But I feel like these are local. What them look like? Let's see. They're really pretty. Alright, let's just get these. 
the support local. This is our egg. $232. Alright, let's go. Okay, so personally, the reason why I even picked up the lettuce is because I really do love tuna. I don't like flaked tuna, I like chunk tuna. So I'm gonna get some Brunswick chunk tuna in water. Only gonna get one can, just for like maybe like two salads or something. And that's going for about $256. So I don't really have any like other stuff. I mean, I already have flour. I already have sugar at home. I just need to get um, some seasoning. And now we're in the perfect aisle for that. So, yeah. garlic powder I was just about to complain but Chad found us one um, this garlic powder is going for 290 we also picked up some of these smaller packet spice which is around 127 so I got the meat spice don't know how that's supposed to taste got some black pepper which is probably around the same price as the garlic powder I'm not really seeing much options with island spice um let's see what maggie has maggie has some chicken powder these are 40 dollars so we can pick up some i'm realizing that these like small ones have really like lasted me a while um yeah lasted me a while let's get some all-purpose oh so, yeah it's actually not bad i already have a lot of paprika at home so i'm not really you know stress out the pocket that's what we have so far let's see I love adobo um, let's get the small adobo all-purpose what's the difference why is this one red and why is this one blue huh same price oh they have a sweet and salty what's this King Ford so the adobo is 300 sorry about that the adobo is 300 and five dollars that's not bad oh they have some seafood seasoning red lobster baby I'm not gonna get any of that though I don't plan to make any seafood oh here's some garlic powder but that's six hundred and forty three dollars so the one that I got was a much better price um again I already have basil at home some of these stuff are really already at home in a guys so even though you might see these, don't be like, oh, because you're gonna get this, you're gonna get a lot of stuff I already have at home. What I don't have, and Chad love, I love ketchup tuna, but we're gonna get some cows, which is $299. The cows ketchup. Cows ketchup is really nice. Cows bag juice is really nice. The brand is just nice. All right, let's see what else they already have a lot of this at home but they'll run you 127 183 mm, the most expensive i'm seeing was 283 dollars what i do love to cook with which i think i will get some of is some um barbecue sauce which will run you about 537 dollars 566 dollars so depending on which one you see and want i think i think the last time i got sweet teriyaki and i'm not sure if i liked it so let's try the sweet and spicy or oh, did i get the sweet and spicy last time oh my god spicy honey let's try that because i definitely didn't get that for 566 dollars Right, guys so here's some tang I always used to get tang I don't
don't know if you remember like a long time ago when I did a come shopping with me video I did get like a whole heap of tongue so I think this time I'm just gonna get a strawberry one which is $55 and they all seem to be about $55 let's also get a grape one just for the the fun of it but what we're also gonna do is pick up um, some syrup which flavor syrup you want, Chad? Fruit punch? This one? Okay, let's get the fruit punch for $380. So, Kyle's again. Kyle's, you should sponsor me. <laughs> sponsor your girl. Um, I don't really want anything else to drink. We're gonna pick up water and then that might be it for the liquids. You know the Aiku one is more <laughs> than the water. I thought the water was gonna be more expensive, and no, sh no shade to Aiku, but we're on a budget, so I'm gonna put back the Aiku water and grab um, the water water because at this point, two hundred and fifty-nine dollars versus two hundred and. $40. I'm gonna go with the 240 So let's pick this up. I put one care Ah, uh, that makes sense. But we don't really need that much water to be honest. Well, we do, but the price is nice. All right. And then the next thing, the Catherine's Peak is $358. So it just depends on what you want and the Catherine's Peak has less water than the water and the iCool brand. So it just depends what your flavor, what you like. We're going to go with the cheapest one though. So this aisle is full of snacks and granted I always regret not buying snacks. But then again, I don't want to buy snacks and then overeat if you know what I mean. So I just stay clear of this aisle. Let's go. Personally, I like wheat bread and it's running you $495. Um, Chad likes white bread. I wish they had like the half sizes for breads, but I'm gonna pick up one of this because I love wheat bread. That's just my fave. The next thing that I'm gonna get is um, three spice buns for a hundred and thirty eight a hundred and thirty dollars so that's one two three yeah three spice buttons I like to get is sausage um, mommy gets fancy sausages and I love her for that she always picks out the fancy ones but I never seem to find them and I think this place probably doesn't really have you know the variety that we need um, let's see let's see Jamaica national anthem playing in the back for me I don't see the sausages that I like here no offense to these sausages but yeah, I really don't see any sausages that I like. Mm. Mm. Okay, I think we're gonna pass on the sausage for today. But they're around a thousand dollars, six hundred and eighty-four dollars for bologna, seven hundred and twenty-seven for bacon, two thousand eight hundred and fourteen. That's the highest price that we're seeing for bacon. And the lowest price I'm seeing for sausage is $268. So let's keep it pushing until next time. Alrighty, 
eat so i finally found the almond milk and i see this brand called so good i've never tried it from them it says australian made so it's coming a long way the price is 548 dollars for their almond milk so we'll try it i know ashley always gets this oat milk i'm not a fan of oat milk though i've tried it and it's just not for me and i think someone asked me I can't remember what someone else had asked me like it was a, like two years ago but a lot of the supermarkets have different varieties so whatever milk that you want to get I'm sure you can find it if not at this supermarket then definitely at another one Jamaica has a decent amount of choices these days which is really really nice and there's cereal so I'm gonna get a small box of something I'm gonna get the frosted flakes which is $486 and it's something that we all know Kellogg's is a very famous brand um, I didn't mention this earlier but if you want to see the US prices the Canadian prices the euro the pound Google is free and available if you're watching this video you can go to Google I will be putting up the JMB prices though so yeah just letting you guys know but this is what we're gonna go with and I think that's it for now we're gonna cash out and hopefully we haven't passed ten thousand dollars because we want to hit the supermarket. Why is Chad laughing? <laughs> Chad is looking like this is definitely past ten thousand dollars, but let's let's hope it's not. Let's really hope it's not. but we did not make it $1,836 I mean 10,000 yeah sorry <laughs> 10000 dollars but it just never worked out. Oh <laughs> guys a subscriber. Oh my god. Thank you so much for watching my video girl. Big up yourself. But he's seeing nobody seeing at the store. But he's seeing Yeah. She said because now she walk off. She walk off. Drop a comment down below since you just say hi to me. But you walk, you walk gone. We couldn't even catch a good video, yo. Um but guys, I really tried to spend ten thousand dollars, but not this economy. But I can't. Hi, what you want next one? Ah! Big up on the side. Ouch. The heat burning. All right, we're gonna head to the supermarket. I'm gonna spend no more than two thousand, three thousand dollar deso. I know that. Oh, uh, we're heading to the market. Sorry, and I'm not trying to spend no more. I just met two subscribers in the span of two minutes i'm so grateful i really hope you enjoyed this video give it a like um let me know what you're buying at the supermarket let me know if you saw anything that was um unique to you guys well unique to us and if you saw anything that you recognize that you would get or if you're you're curious about something that you normally get that you don't know if you can find in jamaica let me know and if i saw it even at another supermarket i will let you guys know but like i said we're on our way to the market now so i'll see you when i get there
Alright, so I'm used to going to the market in um, Kingston, downtown side, Coronation Market. I've even been to some markets over by Spanish, not Spanish Town, Portmore. But I've never been to any market in Spanish Town before. So I'm going with Chad. And we're only picking up a few stuff like melon, pineapple, um, any other little thing like some bell pepper, green pepper, that type of stuff some skellion and I think that's really it again I'm only here for a couple more days and then I'm gone for about two weeks so it doesn't make sense to buy stuff that's gonna spoil one thing with markets in Jamaica and guys you're going to see some dirty water why don't I see why don't I they're going to some dirty water and it's always plagued me like nice. why by the market them always so dirty but that's a different story all right guys how much how much how much for your pineapple 150 apple. two of them are the same 150 yeah we'll what do you want to do this and then all right go on dating yeah um give me two pound Fine. Yeah, if we had pine, I said, yeah. Him can cut it down still, right? Fine, fine. How much is this? Four bills for this. All right. Hold on to that, my child. Mega pay, but more. Fine, Yeah. Yes, please. But that kind of tiny, you know? No, uh, How much you give me for the two? a pound for the skillion. Is this one one pound? We have four nice skillion. And three hundred dollar for the sweet pepper. So what I'm gonna do? Yeah. What I'm gonna do since I'm buying so much skillion, I'm going to freeze some just so they can last longer. So when I come back, my skin then would be ready for when I'm ready to cook. Alright guys, so we are finished. We're done buying everything. At this point, I've popped up all the prices. Uh, yeah, so if you saw anything that was, you know, cool or anything, then just share with me. Drop a comment down below, but I'm going to end off the video here. Bye! Alrighty, V Squad, I'm just going to do a quick unboxing. All the prices were already said earlier in the video. If you were paying attention, you would have saw the prices popped up. And even when I said all of them, when I picked up the items, so I'm going to make it really, really quick. The camera is pointing lower, so I feel like if I stand up, my head is going to cut off, so I'm hunching down. But yeah, so as you can see, I got two water here. Um, I got some oat milk. No, I keep saying oat. I got some almond milk. I also got some sorrel drink. I'm going to put these off to the side. I got some fruit punch syrup, 
hopefully you can see when I'm pointing these things at you I got some pure country orange juice and I got some ketchup I also got these things from uh, the market which is melon I got scallion and thyme I got some pine got some green pepper bell pepper whatever you want to call it wherever you're from now back to what we got at the supermarket Ooh, I got some bag juice you guys know I love bag juice so. got some um, barbecue sauce and I was running low on seasoning so I got adobo all-purpose black pepper garlic powder I either got some sardines these are the hot pepper ones if y'all can see that the hot pepper ones and I got some butter I got some Milo some lettuce The cheese which is melting that's so crazy I got these cheese I'm gonna throw those in the fridge right now I got the jasmine rice and I got the Brunswick tuna this one is chunk in water I got some frosted flake cereal Some wheat bread, just drop those in there. Peppermint tea. So the rest of my seasoning here, because I'm wondering where they disappear off to. Um, chicken seasoning and meat spice. I also got all-purpose seasoning. Two tang. I got the grape one. And I got the strawberry one. I got half a dozen egg. And to top it off, we got three spice bun. So that was it. Remember, some stuff that you're not seeing, I already have them. I already have flour, I already have sugar. I already have a woody pudding. But this is just to re up on some stuff that I didn't have. And that's it. So please give the video a like, drop a comment down below, make sure you subscribe and let me know what you're buying when you go grocery shopping. Bye.